and Port Vale dropping like a stone. This game was more about survival than skill and style. Thankfully, Vale fired things up with a goal after 19 minutes. It was scored by Keith Houchen, but what do you think happened to Oxford keeper Ken Vasey? Seconds later, United showed they had a head for heights when Kay Evans hit the bar. The rebound? Well, that was best forgotten. Oxford did get it right after 30 minutes with a helping hand or boot from Port Vale as Joey Beecham shot spun off Hughes past Grew to make it one all at half time. Then two goals in the last 10 minutes brought an exciting finish. Peter Swan looked to have won it for Port Vale. But right on time, Mickey Lewis scrambled the equaliser. Not a great goal, but these days Oxford are grateful for anything. Oxford 2, Port Vale 2. Port Vale did themselves no harm either, despite going behind at home to fellow strugglers Brighton. Mark Gould scored the opener after Aspen's mistake. Twelve minutes later, Vale equalised through Peter Swan, a far post header that in truth, better teams would have kept out. And Swan's far post presence provided the winner too. Again, Brighton's defenders stood and watched as David Lowe scored a winner which could just swing the pendulum of fortune in Vale's favour.